Turn those on. Oh, this looks terrible. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh my. All right, let's hold it up and... Oh, there we go. But this is just grinding through the side of the building. That is insane looking. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs, and today Bob is back, and he's happier than ever because Bob now has a job again. Now Bob, he is going to be doing a little bit of construction once again here. We have this huge skyscraper that has to go, but there's going to be some limits to how he can deconstruct the building here. So yeah, we're going to be doing this here today. I've also got some cool creations that we're just going to check out from the workshop, including a couple that are absolutely insane, and I think they're going to tie in really well uh, with this building here. Now, one more thing I do want to announce here in Brick Rigs, we are going to be having a build-off competition here really soon on the Discord, kind of like we did with my scrap mechanic builds. So if you want to join the Discord, that is going to be linked down in the description and we will be announcing the theme of the build off there and we'll be doing an episode on that probably later, probably in the weekend I would think, or maybe early next week. But anyways, if you're enjoying Brick Rigs, maybe leave this video a thumbs up and we are ready to jump right into this job. Alright, so Bob's construction has been tasked with taking out another target here in town. The city wants Pepe's Taco HQ removed from the city because obviously it's been shut down, there's nobody in here anymore. So Bob has been tasked with removing the building. Now we're going to have to do this in a little bit different manner this time. The city has actually made some budget cuts from Bob and he is no longer allowed to use airplanes to bomb the buildings anymore. So Bob being the creative genius he is, he found a new toy to play with. This is a ballista by Timo Strategy, and this is basically a huge crossbow. This was used in like medieval times, and Bob figured, you know what, this is going to be the perfect tool in order to take out this huge building, because why not? So Bob's construction company, even after all the budget cuts, even after all the failed jobs that Bob has taken on, the city is still going to trust him to take out Pepe's Taco HQ. All right, so this is kind of a cool little creation here. How does this thing work? I know this thing can actually fire this arrow that's in here. So, Bob, let's see. I think that's about on target there. We want to take out the base of the building. We want to make sure when this building collapses, it doesn't take anything else out. So, Bob is ready to fire the, uh, he's ready to fire the big arrow. So, here we go. Come on, Bob. Let's fire this. Stop. Wait. Huh? Oh. Okay. I might have read the instructions wrong. It's okay. Uh, Bob, Bob will just walk that off. It's fine. Uh, let's uh, <laughs> let's set that back up. Wow, I didn't expect that. All right, you okay, Bob? Yeah, Bob read the instructions wrong there. Uh, the instructions are actually hit left mouse to detonate the arrow. It's the page up key to actually launch it. I thought it was the other way around. So Bob is once again ready to go. Time to take out this building. Let's go ahead and launch it here, and... Oh. Uh oh. Wow. Okay, um... I might need to be a little bit closer. Huh. That didn't work as intended. Uh, did I did I screw something up? Okay, let's try this again. What if I hold page up? Alright, let's hold it up, and... Oh, there we go! Okay, so that does work, and oh, that didn't even make a dent in the building. Oh, this is going to be much harder than I thought it was going to be. Huh. Did we do anything? Any damage? Oh, no, that's a piece of the arrow. Oh, look! <gasps> we did it, the building. This is only going to take probably about three or four thousand more tries. Okay, we need to aim for that exact spot. We're going to make a hole in this building. Uh, Bob knows what he's doing here. Let's go ahead and reload this real quick. All right, here we go. And... Uh, boom! <laughs> Oh, this is gonna take a long time. Okay, let's reload again. Yeah! No. Bob, this wasn't a good idea at all. Hold on. And... Nope. You know, let's kind of... I want to watch that in slow-mo real quick. Alright, let's go ahead. Tab. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. The physics just changed. Okay, well, we're gonna watch that go... <laughs> dive into the ground. Let's go ahead and launch it a little bit further. Maybe it'll bounce. And... Boom. Oh, boom. 
Oh, I think it, I think it's broken. Oh, hold on. Uh oh. Oh. Huh. Well, that doesn't work. Okay, let's go ahead and assess the damage here. Wow, we have made two dings in the side of this building. Okay, well, we're gonna have to find something else to work here. Uh, this obviously is not a thing. I kind of figured that was gonna maybe make a little bit more of a ding, but apparently this building has been built a lot better than other buildings as far as, uh, I guess, the amount of bricks. Okay, uh, let's go try something else here. Okay, so Bob's gonna try another approach here. We're gonna try brute force. We are a construction company, so we're gonna use this front end loader by Soviet Bird, and we're gonna travel over to the construction site. And I have an idea, because obviously the arrows don't work, but wood running something into the building actually works. So let's go ahead and take this thing over there real quick and try it out. Okay, so we're gonna use a little bit of brute force here to see if we can just, you know, make a dent in the building. And, oh, hey, that worked. Wow, that was a lot more efficient than I thought it was gonna be. So yeah, we've got this little front end loader here that we might be able to actually take out the bottom floor by scraping along uh, the whole, maybe we'll scrape along the whole border here. Let's see, how does this work? Okay, now question is, what is this building being held up by? It is being held up by the bottom floor. There's no pillars on the inside. Bob might have found a alternate way to actually destroy this. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, let's go ahead and jump back into this building here. Now we gotta completely remove this thing. Uh, let's go ahead and cruise back over to the other side here. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit more speed. We're gonna see if we can launch ourselves into the building. I think this might actually work. Uh, this is a pretty tough little creation here. Uh, the only thing that really broke off was the front end, but it was just a little bit. It didn't disintegrate like a lot of creations do, so here we go. <laughs> oh, this is working. This is beautiful. Yeah, look at that. The bucket hasn't even broken off. I wonder what he's done to this. As you can see in the, uh, the bottom right, I don't have it to where this thing can't be destroyed. Oh, there it goes. Okay, part of the bucket broke off that time. Still good, though. Uh, we're, we're making progress here. Uh, Bob's really happy. He's so happy that the city allowed him to work some more, even though, you know, they don't allow him to play with his big toys, but he does get to do still stuff like this. Uh, so let's go ahead. Uh, we've got that side plowed down. It's going to take a couple attempts and a couple run-ins to get this whole little bottom section destroyed. That way the building will hopefully collapse. You know, maybe we should approach this like a tree. Maybe we should do one side and maybe raise the bucket up and maybe take out the second floor on one side and hopefully it'll collapse over away from the other buildings like the city wanted. This is probably one of the most satisfying things I've ever done in brick rigs. Like this works so well, look at this. Look and you can move the, uh, the front bucket up and down and it'll sit there and break the floor up. Bob is an actual legit construction worker now. No longer does Bob rely on bombers. He can just sit here and rely on this nice little front end loader. Let's go ahead and approach this. You know, admittedly, this is still a bit slow for Bob. Maybe Bob should go find something else, maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, that way we can speed up this process, even though we're doing a, a relatively good job. I feel like we're close to the point of making this building collapse over. And Bob, he likes to take shortcuts sometimes. So he's hoping this building is actually gonna collapse in front of the train tracks. That way he can help break up the building some more. Uh, but we're gonna do a little bit more work here. Okay, so Bob wasn't satisfied with just using the uh, the front end loader. We needed something a little bit more, I would say, productive. Uh, this is the Mega Mulcher by Barbarian, and obviously this is farming equipment, but this looks like farming equipment of death. I mean, look at this. I've never seen a mulcher <laughs> with that big of a mouth on it. Okay, so I'm assuming this just works by driving forward. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. And hey, look, a crowd of Bobs has a... Uh, They've appeared. I guess they're watching the uh, the construction process. Uh, too bad that crowd of bobs is, they're kind of in the way, I would say. Hmm, what happens if we, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be bad. Uh, let's go ahead, we're gonna do this in slow-mo because I have a feeling this is gonna look very, very epic. So, this crowd of bobs, you know, they kind of need to be cleared out. They need to be moved back. So, we're gonna go ahead, turn those on. Oh, this looks terrible. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> this is... This is bad. 
<laughs> there is bobs flying everywhere. Well, that's actually a very, very efficient tool. Okay, speed back up. <laughs> okay, uh, let's reset here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit the uh, side of the building here and we're just gonna try to chew through it and see what happens. So there we go. Let's do this full speed. All right, here we go. Look at this. It's just chewing into the side. You know, almost, I almost wish there was another set of teeth at the top where the cab is. But this is just grinding through the side of the building. That is insane looking. That is, that's even more satisfying to watch than the, uh, the front end loader. Hold on, let's just back out real quick. Let's see what this looks like. <gasps> wow, we have chewed a whole corner up. Okay, um, let's go ahead and work on it. I need to re-angle this thing and wait. Does the stuff actually shoot out the back? I think it does. If it, oh, so, so if it gets sucked in, you can see there's parts all in this. It gets, oh, it does get mulched. So it shoots it through here. It's got another set of blades and it shoots it out the back here. So that means that there was bobs shooting out the back earlier. Oh, that's wrong. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and re-angle this thing. All right, here we go. We are gonna mulch into the side over here. I have a feeling this building's about to collapse. Let's go ahead and just start working into this side real quick. There we go. How is this thing still standing? Uh, you figure the weight would push it over right now. I feel like we need to go weaken up the, uh, the front end. Uh, we've almost, I think, done about what we can here. Actually, we're making it into the building pretty far this time. Look at that. Look how satisfying. Let's go ahead and slow this down real quick. I, I want to see this working in slow-mo. So let's go ahead and kind of zoom in. I kind of wish I can keep this thing running. Let's just keep it in slow-mo this way. Yeah, you can see it. It's trying to suck in those bricks. Actually, it just grabbed a brick right there and it just shoots it to the back. That is probably one of the most insane creations I've ever seen here in brick rigs. And it's not a bomber or anything. Normally it's the explosive ones that are really crazy, but this is just, look at this. We have almost made it halfway through the building here. All right, as you can see here, it looks like Pepe's Taco HQ is getting ready to fall here. It's actually leaning. You can see it. It's, it's visibly leaning over to the right. So, obviously, we've chewed out about, I would say, close to three to four floors here. Uh, we need to hit it from this side, and I believe this is going to make it collapse. So, here we go. The mulcher is ready to go here. It's hard to believe this is a construction episode and we're using farm equipment to uh, accomplish this, but this thing is so satisfying to use. There we go, grind into the side. We're gonna start grinding that wall off. It's just chewing, it's chewing away. Okay, there is officially no wall here. So let's back it out. Okay. And if we hit it from the back end here, there's no way that this doesn't work. I'm kind of curious if this would actually go through a building in the city. Because if you get so many, I guess, destruction points or little uh, holes in the side of a building, it'll actually collapse. And I think this thing would actually work. So let's go ahead and run back through here. Man, this could be a start of a glorious business. This could also be like a, a car crusher. This thing could destroy probably about anything in the game. And come on. Come on. Almost there. Okay, this building is being very, very stubborn with the mulcher here. I think this is the last platform that's holding it up. So if we grind into here, there goes the door. <laughs> Come on, building. Look at this. There's like nothing down here to hold this thing up. I, the floors shouldn't be doing anything. It really should be the uh, everything. Oh, oh no, no. Uh oh, oh, that's not good. That, that's not good. Oh, the building just collapsed. Oh, and it just collapsed on the uh, the mulcher. Hold on. <laughs> is it gonna fall? <laughs> Come on, building. Oh, this isn't gonna make it to the railroad tracks. We're gonna have to pull the uh, pull the building a bit. Oh, here it goes. Here goes Pepe's HQ, and it's trying. Come on. Ah, it's gonna fall over. And uh oh, is there, why is our front end loader near the tracks? I don't know what's going on over there. And there it goes. The Pepe's HQ has been taken down by farming equipment, of all things. <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's just grind through this. There's so many bricks going everywhere. This is actually really amazing. Uh, my frame rate's tanked, though. Uh, we need to move the mulcher here and let this settle out and see what happens. Okay, so now that the building is down, the city wants us to kind of break it up a little bit more like we normally do. 
Except for, I think we've, I've got a plan here. Bob, he's a genius when it comes to these creations. So, obviously the Mega Mulcher is really, really fantastic. But what the Mega Mulcher needs is a bit more speed to run into the side of this. And possibly even push it out to the tracks. So, I'm going to go put some thrusters on this bad boy. And we're going to hit it probably from this bottom end. And see if we can push it onto the tracks and finish this building off. Uh, this could be a very epic explosion. I'm just now glad that everything's kind of settled down and I've got some of my FPS back because this building was causing a lot of lag when it fell down. But it's all settled now, so we're good. Okay, so what we've done here, we've added six thrusters to the bottom of the mulcher here. And I feel like this is going to... Oh, yeah. This is going to give us that extra force we need in order to... Oh! <laughs> I don't know if the mulcher can handle this many pieces. Look at that. Are we pushing the building? I think we're pushing the base that it was setting on. Hold on. We're almost there. We're almost to the bottom of the building itself. It's just shooting pieces out the side like crazy. Oh, that is so awesome. Okay, so this is giving it the extra force. We're just plowing right through the building. You know, we might not even be pushing it. We might just wind up going through the building itself. Oh, this is so cool. I love this creation so much. This creation just feels so unstoppable now. We've almost mulched up the building. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen this before. We are going to mulch up a skyscraper in Brick Rigs. <laughs> this might be a new accomplishment for Bob. And this is so clean. We haven't destroyed any other buildings. We've made a mess here, but of course, that was to be expected here with the uh, the mulcher. And this was a big building. Uh, but we're almost there. Uh, we're grinding away. I want to get out to the top of it. And that should collapse this down enough to where I'll be satisfied. And then we're going to test this little mulcher thing against a couple other creations because... Now I'm intrigued. I want to see what this thing can also go through. Like, what does this thing do to just a normal car? It's got to be absolutely devastating. All right, here we go. We've made it to the top of the building. And in classic Brick Rigs fashion, we are going to let the top of the building set on the railroad tracks. We're going to go ahead and stop the mulching. Stop it there. Let's go ahead and back out of this here. Oh, uh, we might be stuck to it. Okay, we might... <laughs> Bob might be taking a ride with the uh, the top of the building here. So, we're going to let the train pass by, but just look at the amount of destruction that we've caused here. This is awesome. Like, that was a, I think, like a 5,000 plus block building. It has now been completely leveled. Like, there's no... I mean, there's a couple big chunks left, uh, but for the most part, this thing is... Uh, it's in a lot of pieces, obviously. So, here comes the train. Time to finish off the top of this building. And I would have to say that is a job well done by Bob's Construction. And, <laughs> see, even the train can't even do that good of a job as the mulcher at destroying this building. That was still pretty cool, though. Yep, look at the mulcher. It's like got a bunch of stuff stuck in its teeth. <laughs> it was hungry. Okay, so since we've seen that this mulcher can take down a skyscraper, I have set up a gauntlet for it to take down. So this is going to be probably the ultimate test here. So we're going to start the mulcher up. We're going to run all the way down here. We've got to get through Rupert the Deer, bowling pins, a small car, a tanker, a bomb truck, a bomb factory, a farm, and we're going to end off in the Waffles Company apartment building this is actually kind of a nice apartment look at all the bobs they're they're in line i guess they're just getting coffee a uh, little do they know what's about to happen oh look at this this is actually a, a quite a detailed apartment building oh that's really cool and this is also the waffle farm uh the bomb factory here now it's a uh, totally not a bomb production site uh this thing's got some explosives whoa what is up with this why are they all on the ground it seems uh, quite dangerous and then I think some of these other things are going to explode. Of course, the bomb truck's going to explode. I believe this tanker's got some explosives in it. Uh, so there's going to be quite a bit of pushing uh, to do here. But I think Bob's ready. This is like now I'm going to call this the uh, Mulcher Olympics. All right. We are ready to go. Time to mulch everything up. I don't. I kind of want to do this in slow-mo, but I also want to do this in uh, full. Let's just go full speed here. <laughs> There goes the deer. There goes the tanker. There. Uh oh. Oh. Oops. I might have made a mistake here. Yeah. Um. You're sp supposed to run this mulcher in uh, the invincible mode. I might have forgotten about that. <laughs> Everything just blew up on me. Hey, look, there's Bob. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's run that one more time. We are charging through. 
here comes Rupert's gonna be the first one to go here. <laughs> Say goodbye to Rupert. There goes that. Bowling pins, car, tanker, big bomb. No! Oh, we're off target. Oh, uh oh. Wait, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay, I thought the mulcher. Okay, the mulcher is now on fire. We're still good to go. We're still good to. Oh. Okay. So, Bob just, uh, he died. Hmm. I didn't know your character could still die if your vehicle caught on fire, which I didn't think that was possible. Well, we made it through quite a few things. Uh, maybe the bomb truck's percussion might have thrown us off there. Uh, Rupert's gone. There was a little green car. There's a couple pieces there. Uh, the bomb factory made an impact into it, but we didn't get quite to the farm and the apartment complex. Uh, oh, there's pieces all out here. <laughs> Oh, that's so bad. Okay, well, I guess we need to go ahead and finish this off real quick. Okay, time to push through the rest of this. Here comes the bomb factory. There we go. Just gonna kind of eat into it. it. It doesn't do as well with these smaller... Oh, there it goes. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Alright. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, 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 oh. Oh, what's happening? Oh, the farm's gone. Oh, the farm is gone. <laughs> there goes a chunk of building up there. Wow, <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing ever in Brick Rigs. Oh, look, there's pieces of barn everywhere. Okay, well, we got one more building to go through here, and then we should be able to wrap this up. All right, apartment complex, time to meet your maker. There we go, start the car. What the heck? Why is everything exploding here? Apparently, there's explosives in the apartment building, too. What the heck? This thing shouldn't be able to catch on fire. <laughs> Okay, see if we can turn before Bob burns here. Up, 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 up. Here we go. <laughs> this is probably the funnest creation in Brick Rigs ever. Oh, oh, oh. We just launched the apartment building. How in the heck does this even happen? Bob, hey look, the, the line of Bobs is still standing. <laughs> I mean, they're not standing up. Oh, up, oh, their heads just got shoved into the ground. Well. I would say that's a, a job well done. We have caused plenty of chaos here today. A little more than I thought we were going to. I thought we were just going to wind up taking down that apartment complex, but that mulcher is so great, it just plowed right through it. So, uh, the gauntlet obviously went well. We've got pieces everywhere. So there's like barn pieces. Uh, there's little car pieces everywhere. There's like some bowling pin pieces. I want to say that might be a part of Rupert. I'm not 100% sure. I, I don't condone any violence towards deers, but that deer has caused us a lot of pain and suffering. So anyways, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs. If you have any suggestions for more jobs that Bob should do in Brick Rigs, comment below. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We will be returning with some more multiplayer here very soon. Got some more challenges and got some more goofing off to do. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time. Wow, there's actually bricks out here too. That's insane.